In this video I will compare Flutter Flow versus Flutter and tell you which of these app building tools is best for you and your project. So in my opinion one of them is easier to use and one of them is best for more complex projects and the other one is easier and just helps you create projects quicker and the other one is just better for simpler projects or if you require quick turnarounds. So let's go and compare them. Now first what exactly can you do with them, where can you publish the apps etc. Now on Flutter you have a few examples right here on the website, so this is a money transferring app, this one right here is some kind of a map app, here you can book a resort, so you can really build any kind of app, you can even build a game as you can see here, but you will see it is for these platforms, so for mobile, you can see it on iOS right here, and you can build web apps, so that's for desktop. You can also build embedded apps to embed onto a website. Now Flutterflow on the other hand is pretty similar but in my opinion Flutterflow is the easier options. It has a really easy to use visual development environment which you can see right here where you can really easily just drag in elements onto your app and it's just pretty straightforward in my opinion. So if you're looking for the easier app builder to use then I would go with Flutterflow. If you're looking for an app builder that provides more control and flexibility and potentially if you require more in-depth development work then I would go with Flutter. However Flutterflow offers a more accessible starting point to most people with the visual development which you can see here how it works and that makes it suitable for simpler projects and projects that need a quick turnaround. So if you want to create a simpler project and you don't have much experience then I would go with Flutterflow. If you want more control and basically more flexibility then I would go with Flutter. Now in terms of pricing you can get started with Flutterflow completely for free and if you actually want to launch your app on the App Store or Google Play Store then it costs $70 per month. Now Flutter doesn't have a straightforward pricing plan but most likely it is much more expensive to create an app on Flutter compared to Flutter Flow. You will see right here in the Google search to cut a long story short the expenses associated with developing a Flutter app can fall anywhere between 10 and 200 thousand dollars and above. So Flutter is a lot more expensive to build a full app compared to Flutter Flow so keep that in mind when making your decision. So that concludes this comparison of Flutter Flow versus Flutter. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.